Good day everyone, my name is Yap Seo Tong and I come from SAL. The name of my company is Open for All Mart. My business idea is come from my self career experience which is JTC, Fresh Mart and also my family. JTC Fresh Mart is a supplier of fresh vegetables, rice and cooking oil to restaurants and market. It also provides delivery service for their customer. This is the company profile of one for all mart, which also known as OFA mart. It type of business is retailing and it locates at Kuchai and Hirpinian Park. The vision of the company is to be a branded convenience store that known by everyone and bring conveniences to people. And the mission is to provide customer an unforgettable service and quality product. It also create long lasting relationship with the customer and supplier, enhance relationship with staff, and lastly is to make sure the quality of products and service is always in a good condition. For the objective is to fulfill customer needs and wants, to gain profit and also ensure the operation of business is running smoothly. So for the company, there are five departments in OFMR, which is marketing department, finance department, HR department, operation department, and also customer service. The number of employees needed is estimated to be 23 person since it is 24 hours operating. So there are total three shifts for the employees, which is morning shift, noon shift, and night shift. The business is located in a crowded area, which is called Chai Entrepreneur Park. And nearby the location, there are facilities such as bank institutes, restaurants, and housing area. The location is strategic since there are many passing customer and potential customers. So the table is show the working hours per day per week and total working hours per week for the employees. This is the layout plan for the com company. So next is the process flow chart from the diagram. We can know that the customer can purchase product from the co company by two ways, which is direct buy and order online. Then the stores will forecast the demand of the customers and then send projected plan orders from the suppliers. Distribution center will send the products from suppliers to the customers or to the stores. There are five, 10 types of products that can be found in OFM Mart, which is fruits, vegetables, cold storage products, biscuits, meats, instant noodles, beverage, rice, cooking oil, and also canned food. OFM Mart also provide delivery service for their customer. For example, after the customer receive and purchase the goods from OFM Mart, the customer could use the delivery service provided and could play their receipt to other places. The delivery service provided is guaranteed the goods that purchased will reach the destination in a good condition. For target market and marketing segmentation, there are two types of segmentation, which is geographic segmentation and demographic segmentation. Firstly, for geographic segmentation, it divides people on the basis of geographic. OFM Mark focus on the people in the urban area, which is Kuchai and Terminal Park, Kuala Lumpur. And next is demographic segmentation. It offers different products for different age and life cycle groups. The target consumers are at the age range from 20 to 50 years old. The reason is most of the people between this age range is office workers, so they have, don't have time to visit the store during normal, normal hours, such as, for example, 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. In income aspect, OFM are welcome customers in all income range. The competitive advantage for OFM is qualified service, wide range of products, operates 24 hours, 7 days a week, quality service with affordable price, strategic location and also their delivery service. For this advantage, uh, OFMR did not have experience in stock keeping, lack of parking space, lack of experience in managing people, traffic jam during peak hour, and also hard to hire experienced worker. For the promotion of business, firstly is the internet or online marketing. It refers to the promoting efforts that requires an internet association OFMR owns a Facebook page which is shown here 
and any promotion activities will be posted on the social media to let their customer know and urge them to purchase products from the company. Next is the leaflet. It refers to the distribution of leaflets to the people nearby the store. It contains the details of offer items, price, dates of promotion activities, and also the store location. Last is the word of mouth advertising. Uh, it refers to the passing of information from people to people by oral communication. OFM might encourage customers to share their purchasing process and product with their friends. For the financial plan, the total startup class cost is estimated to be 127000 For the monthly operating cost, it will by transportation, working capital and operation and other expenses. So the total monthly operating cost will be estimated to be 39000 uh, so this is the break-even analysis and the money units break-even will be 134 units. For risk management, the first risk will be the supply risk. It refers to the chances of probability that the supply chain will bring, bring risk to the business. For example, a bad relationship with suppliers. Once the relationship with the suppliers is become worse, the supply of goods will be late or even stop, and the quality of the goods cannot be promised. In addition, the business owner might get a higher price for the supply goods. So solution one is to maintain a good relationship with the suppliers, and next is to have a wide network of suppliers. By having a friendly relationship with supplier, the business could get many benefits. For example, lower price than other competitors. Next is the safety risk. It includes the safety of the employees, the security level of the business, and also accident. For example, robbery case and also fire disaster. The first solution for this risk is develop a standard operating procedures. The employees have to follow the procedures and help each other. Solution two is maintenance such Maintenance for equipment such as forklift need to be done for twice a year and gloves, shoes need to be prepared for the employees. Next is security guard need to be ready by the business. The security guard must attend the training program provided by business in order to ensure they have the ability to solve problems in a genius and safety way. Next is for accidents such as fire disaster, the business need to install equipment such as smoke alarms, fire extinguisher, and sprinkler in case the accident happen. Lastly is inventory waste. Inventory is an important asset of a business and it refers to goods or materials that the business holds for the purpose of sale in the near future. For example, when there are a lack of inventory in the business, it will cause the business sales to be decreased and lost profit. In opposite, when there are too much inventory in a business, it will cause incidents such as damage or tips happen. Solution for this risk is regular checkup on the balance of the inventory. It is important to make sure that the balance of stock is enough to fulfill the demand of customers. Successfully in managing the inventory, it will improve the sales of the business and of course the profit of the business will rise. Next is the solution to is hire an experienced storekeeper to calculate the number of inventory and investigate the quality of the inventories once the inventories are sent by the suppliers. Thank you.